Hi, my name is Chris and this is Battle Nonsense. Today we will take another look at the networking and network related features in Apex Legends to find out if the developers changed something since my last test, which was about three months ago. Sadly, the developers still do not provide a simple option right here inside the main menu to choose the region you want to play in. Neither do they tell you where the server is located that the matchmaker puts you on. I live in Austria, which means that the matchmaker should always put me on a server that is hosted somewhere in Europe. But during my tests I noticed that I frequently ended up on servers that were in the United States of America. I don't know why the matchmaker made this decision. Maybe there are just not enough people playing the game in Europe anymore and so the matchmaker decided to put me on a server outside of Europe. But I would like that the game tells me what it is doing and I would also like to have an option where I can say that I only want to play on a server inside my own region, even if that means that I must wait a little longer for the matchmaker to find a server for me. When I play outside my own region then this does not only have a negative impact on my experience as I must play at a very high ping then. My ping will also cause that other players who might play inside their own region have a bad time as they will receive my shots behind cover since the game favors the experience of the shooter even when he is playing at a very high ping. There is also still no setting inside the options menu to simply enable an overlay which shows me network information like ping and packet loss while I am playing on a server. However, the developers did introduce four network performance icons which tell the player when his connection to the server is suffering from issues which have a negative impact on his experience. As soon as these icons were added to the game, players asked what they mean. The only explanation that I could find was an image that was linked to in this topic on Reddit, without any further explanation inside the topic. So since I couldn't find any further explanation from the developers, let me tell you a bit more about what triggers these icons. Other games like Battlefield show you a yellow warning icon when the issue is minor and a red icon when the issue is severe. That is sadly not the case in Apex Legends. This is the latency warning icon which based on my tests shows up as soon as your ping to the game server exceeds about 170 milliseconds. This happens when you play on a server that is very far away from your home or when your router is unable to prioritize the time sensitive data of real time applications such as online games which is also referred to as buffer bloat. If you want to find out more about that issue and how to fix it, then you should have a look at the description down below. A high ping can also be caused by playing over a poor Wi-Fi or power line connection. While these are good enough for content consumption, you should avoid them at all costs when it comes to online gaming. But it is also possible that your internet service provider is to blame as it can happen that they do not have your data take the fastest route to the game server. Then we have packet loss, which means that data does not reach its destination. That can be data that you send to the server or data that you should receive from the server. This can be caused by buffer bloat, poor Wi-Fi or power line connections, but also when you play on a server that is outside your own region, as every additional hop or stop between you and the server increases the risk of packet loss. It can also be caused by defective network hardware, which includes network cables and ports, as well as buggy drivers and firmware. But if that is the case, then you will experience packet loss in all games and online services, not just in Apex Legends. Next is congestion. When you see this icon, then this means that your downstream bandwidth is too low for Apex Legends. For some reason, you will not see this icon when you run out of upstream bandwidth, which makes no sense. Ideally, the developers should either also show this icon when you run out of upstream bandwidth or use a different icon to tell the player that the game cannot get its data to the server. Buffer bloat as well as playing over poor Wi-Fi or power line connections can result in this issue. Then there's the prediction error warning icon. When you press a button, a key on your keyboard or move your mouse, then the game predicts the result of that input without asking the server first. But if the authoritative server disagrees with what the client predicted, then this causes a prediction error, which triggers the icon and the game client must correct its mistake. Which can lead to rubber banding and other sudden changes in your player position, orientation or updates of the game world. This can be caused by a latency variation, which means that your ping is highly unstable as well as packet loss and congestion. Now since the developers introduced these warning icons, I've seen many players blame the game, the servers and the developers for the issues that trigger these icons. 
But when you take a look at my explanation, then it should be clear that in almost all instances, it is your connection to the server that is causing the issues and triggers these icons. The developers cannot fix your connection issues. That is up to you. Now let's talk about something that is up to the developers to fix. Last time I showed you that the rate at which the server sends updates to the client seems to decrease as the match progresses. The reason behind this is that the updates that the server tries to send to the clients are so big that they don't fit into a single data packet. So to get the data to your client, the server has to send multiple packets, which creates the impression that you receive 70 updates per second during the early phase of the match, while you actually receive just 20 updates per second, which were split up into multiple data packets. That is still happening today, as you can see here in this screenshot from Wireshark, where the following packets make one update from the server. This is an issue, as even minor packet loss can easily destroy an entire update when it consists out of multiple packets. And when you receive just 20 updates per second from the server, then you obviously want to receive as many of these updates as possible. Which brings us to the rate at which the client sends data to the server. Last time I showed you that the client sent about 58 updates per second to the server. But now this rate was reduced to an average of 23 updates per second. So since the game server most likely runs at 20 Hz, it seems logical to have the client also send just 20 updates per second to the server. The issue however is that when you send so few updates per second, then losing 5 updates quickly results in a big issue. While when the client sends 60 updates per second, it doesn't matter as much when you lose 5 of them. So having the client send more than 20 updates per second would decrease the impact that minor packet loss has on your online experience. And it would also slightly decrease the network delay as we've seen in other games like Battlefield. Now how about the network delay as two players experience it when they play on the same server at a ping of 24 milliseconds each? The results that I measured last time were not good, especially the longest delays were concerning. Now the longest delays are not as bad anymore, but for the gunfire and movement delays I noticed higher results for the shortest and average delays, which means that these did not improve. Compared to other games, the network delays in Apex Legends still don't look good. Then there's the lag compensation. Even at a very high ping, the game still favors the experience of the shooter over the experience of the player who is on the receiving end of that shot. This means that even when you have a low latency connection to the server, your experience still suffers when you get shot by someone who has a bad connection to the server. So three months ago I said that I'm sure that the developers can and will improve the networking in Apex Legends. And while I really appreciate that they included the network performance icons recently, I thought that we would see more changes in form of a region selection directly inside the main menu, a network stats overlay, less packet splitting and reduced network delays. Since that didn't happen and we also did not hear about any planned changes, at least I couldn't find anything, please correct me if I'm wrong, it seems to me that the developers either don't get the resources for these changes or they don't see the need for these changes or the player base just seems happy enough with the online experience that they consider working on these things as a waste of resources. I obviously don't know what is going on exactly, but as a gamer, I'm not happy with the changes that were done during the last three months and the lack of communication when it comes to what I talked about in this video. I hope that we will see more improvements in the near future as I do like Apex Legends quite a lot, but at this point I'm not sure if that will happen. And that's all for today. Big shout out to my patrons as their support keeps my channel going. If you also like the content that I release on my channel and would like to support me, then you can find a link to my Patreon page in the description down below, where you will also find links to my social accounts in case that you want to stay up to date on the videos that I'm working on. So if you enjoyed this video then please give it a like, subscribe for more and I hope to see you next time. Until then, have a nice day and take care. My name is Chris and this was Battle Nonsense.